Student loan debt in the United States totals $1.747 trillion, according to Melanie Henson, a research analyst and senior editor. The average federal student loan balance is $37,113. These numbers are astronomical, and I personally owe at least $20,000 a well, and can say this debt burdens me. My name is Quinn McKnight, and today I will be, re be presenting why university is expensive. <clears throat> Every day I think about how fast and what jobs will project me at a $0 balance the quickest. I too would like to partake in the American dream living in a nice house while driving a luxurious car, but would be afraid to take out a mortgage with an already hefty debt. I wonder and complain about the reasons that led me to take on such a burden, then I remember it's what everyone does. Throughout my transition through primary to high school, university life was always advertised. It is socially accepted as the primary stepping stone in a successful person's life. The problem is that most socially accepted thing is to immediately go to college. If you make a simple Google search in efforts to find reasons on why not to attend college, you would find at least 10 pages of information. After beginning my search, I was relieved to see I was not the only person who felt negatively towards university life. According to a Michael Unger, PhD, there are multiple reasons why students should not immediately rush to college. Number one being, students are likely to choose a career based on very little information or practical life experience. Following after is number two. Even worse, once committed to a university, you are to run the risk of accumulating a crippling debt. My mother currently is still paying installments on a $20,000 balance she acquired over 22 years ago. She doesn't even work in the field of her degree, seeing that she's been working with Delta for 15 years. After examining the problem, we can continue to the cause, which is, which is college is business. Unfortunately, university is one of the most lucrative industries to submerge into as an entrepreneurial person. According to the U.S. News, at least 40 national university presidents earn twice what President Donald Trump did on a yearly basis. College sports alone earn universities over $18 billion. If the statistics do not at least surprise you, I have one more for you. The average cost of college, including books, tuition, and living expenses in the United States is $35,000 a year. Roughly 16.2 million people attend college yearly. That math alone, those calculations are extraordinary. I also find it interesting that jobs like a university president are not offered as a track like med, pre-medical, or pre-pharmacy to take, even though it pays more than the president of the United States. These are the national debt averages. Following the cause, there is a solution. Simply said, the solution to this problem would be for students to stop attending college. I personally would suggest students to attend school after the age of 24 since you are able to file independently on FAFSA. This is just a form stating the age requirements for independence. This is a crucial step in applying for school since this determines how much government assistance you are qualified for. I currently pay for school out of pocket. My parents do not help me and I am not considered Pell Grant eligible. Defined by studentpay.gov, federal Pell Grants are usually awarded only to undergraduate students who display exceptional financial need and have not earned a bachelor's degree. My fin finances and lack of degree status would say I'm eligible, but since I'm not 24, FAFSA says I'm not. If the government made grants more applicable for students, I'm sure the national dropout rate would decrease seeing that the students could focus easier on scholastics instead of financials. This is the um, graduation rate in different ethnicities going from years four, five, and six. <clears throat> in conclusion, the national dropout rate and debt rate is too high. 
The nation should help their patrons decrease this crippling amount of debt as well as make aid more possible. Universities should not accept applicants under the age of 24 considering the FAFSA rules and due to the intellect of younger adolescents. College should be reinforced as an expensive extra or an expensive addition, um, not a requirement, a money drowning requirement, unfortunately. Um, thank you for listening. My name is Quinn McKnight.